Hey everyone, welcome back to Homestead Corner. Today we got a little fire going. We're gonna whip up some foil packet meat. So we finally have some sunshine so we can get some outdoor stuff done. And today we're gonna to be putting together a foil packet meal with just a few things that we have on hand. If we are unable to cook inside, we need to be prepared with the skills to cook outside. I think that is so, so important. And making sure that if we're doing this on a regular basis, once or twice a month, then we are going to be able to have that skill and be confident in it. Foil packet meals are great. You can cook over a fire with cast iron, all sorts of cookware. There's tons of way to do, ways to do it, but the foil packets are throw away. When you're done, you can wash the foil if you want. Our grandmas did. And, um, but we can toss the foil afterwards. You want to use a nice heavy duty foil. You don't want to use the real thin stuff because it can melt and it's just not strong enough for the heat that comes off of a campfire or a fire pit or whatever you're using. The heat is a little bit too strong. Even on a grill, I have had that thin foil kind of melt away into it because it's just too hot. So making sure you've got a good heavy duty foil I use uh, just great value. It's gonna work great for this. You just wanna make sure it's the heavy duty stuff and it is going to work perfectly. We also use the Berkeley and Jensen from BJ's or any brand, it doesn't matter, just as long as it's the thicker stuff. So let's jump in and get started. This is really super simple and easy. So the first thing I like to do is get my fire going. I wanna get it so it's nice and hot and everything is flaming. It's starting to die down now, so it's just about ready to start cooking on. If there's too much flames, we're just gonna knock that wood around and get it so there's not too many flames, so we don't scorch our food. We wanna just regulate that temperature a little bit. Open fire cooking is definitely a lot different than cooking in the house, but you get used to it pretty quickly once you start doing it. So now we've got our fire all going, so I'm going to get the foil packets together. So to get started, I just want to, I'm gonna take my aluminum foil and I've got a couple of pork chops here that I got out of the freezer and just two pork chops. This is gonna feed about two people, one potato, one squash, and I ran into the herb garden and grabbed a little bit of thyme, a little bit of rosemary, and some sage leaves. I've got butter, salt, pepper, uh, garlic and onion powder, and that's gonna be it. Okay, so once we have everything cut up and ready to go, I am just gonna take a pork chop and we're gonna put it just like so. I'm gonna take about half of the potato and about half of the squash, and we're gonna put these right in here. So we've got everything for our meal all together, which is wonderful, it's delicious this way. I'm gonna take one sprig of some rosemary, and I'm gonna take a sprig of the thyme, I'm gonna throw those in. I'm gonna take two sage leaves and just kinda tear those up a little bit and throw them in there. This is gonna give it just a really nice herby flavor with a little bit of salt and some black pepper. And I love garlic and onion, but you could definitely skip this. I like to put just a little bit on there. So it's got some good flavor. And this is going to cook all together. This is so easy and simple. I just love these. Once we have all our seasoning, everything together, I'm just gonna take a little bit of butter. You can use oil, bacon fat, whatever you like. I really love the butter on the squash and potatoes. So that's gonna give us our fats to cook in. And then we're just gonna wrap these up. And I just take it and roll it down. So we've got a little packet Then we're gonna roll our ends in as well. And this just kind of seals everything in there so your butter and liquids aren't gonna fall out. 
And you can do this a million different ways. If you have um, barbecue sauce, if you like it like that, you can do that. Um, whatever kind of seasoning you like, really. I just grabbed what was handy in the garden and onions and garlic. It's gotta have that. And we have our foil packet. Now you can double this if you want to, but I'm, I don't need to for my fire because I know that I'm gonna keep it away from the direct flame. So there is one. And we're just gonna go ahead and do the same exact thing with the other pork chop because we have two meals here. We're gonna add the rest of our squash and potatoes. And there's no rhyme or reason here. I like to make sure they're not stuck together. That way they cook through easier. You want your potatoes kind of small because they do take a little longer. I've got a little flour on here from the thyme, but that part's edible too, so we're gonna throw it right in. Get some more sage. Just tear that up, spread it around. Another piece of rosemary. Some garlic, onion. Mmm, ah, love that stuff. Can't get enough of it. Pepper, salt, and a little bit of butter. Ooh, it's probably <clears throat> a little over a tablespoon of butter is what I use. You can use the amount you like or any kind of fat you have available. And again, we're just gonna bring these two sides together and roll. <clears throat> and it's nice to have the packets a little flat so it cooks a little more evenly. But, you know, if they got a bunch in the middle, that's okay. It'll work. It'll still work. There's no science to any of this stuff. It's just practicing and seeing what works for you. Let's get these bad boys on the fire. So we're just going to knock these flames down a little. We want those nice hot coals, but not really flaming right on there. Not right where we're going to put the food. So I just move it around. That stump finally decided to burn. We're going to keep the packets away from that flame a little bit. So just the hot coals are what's going to cook this. So I'm just going to take my packet and throw it right on there. And the fire is behind it, not right underneath it. So we can... Just let these cook for about 10 minutes and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna give them a flip. So these have been cooking for about 10 minutes and you just wanna flip them over. Make sure you're still getting some good coals there. And, uh, and no direct flames on it and those are getting there. We're gonna cook them for oh, about 30 minutes total probably. And every 10 minutes, I'm just going to flip them over. So we've just opened one of these packets up. And everything is nice and soft and tender and ready to go. Pork chop's done. You can give it a little cut just to make sure that it's cooked all the way through. And we're ready to eat. And that's it, really. Get out there and get those skills cracking. You want to make sure that you're comfortable cooking over an open fire. Foil packet meals have very little cleanup. You can eat right out of the packet if you want to. It's delicious, simple, and you can mix up the spices any way you want. It really can be done a million different ways. Beef, pork, chicken, whatever you have can go in there. Um, if it's really thick, big pieces, we'll cut it up small before we put it in. But like these little pork chops, they were pretty thin. So we just slap the whole pork chop in there and cook it just the way it is. It cooks through really quick. Once those potatoes are done, everything is done. Those take the longest, really. And you've got a delicious, easy meal. And no electricity. You can do everything right outside. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.